Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And right now we're in McGraws, West Virginia. That's right, in Wyoming County. Wyoming County, just a little dot on the map, but we thought you'd be interested in this. It's got a really cool school building and just a the neat thing just seemed interesting to us, didn't it? It really did, yeah. And we thought that it would you guys too. Exactly. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. I can't uncover my eyes. <laughs> give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Yes, let's flip this camera and show that school. There's that school we were talking about, the John McGraw School. Yeah, it's really eye-catching. Yeah, it's it nice is. Old building. The and architecture is interesting, and the the way that was written into the. Yeah. Yeah, Wyoming County has a lot of really cool architecture. Oh yeah. Kind of buildings. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of our favorite spots like Etman Mullins. We they got mm -hmm. some amazing stuff. Yeah, I love those. And if you haven't watched those videos, go check those out. Yeah. Looks like this school bit the dust a while back though, doesn't it? Not, not too terribly long, I wouldn't think, just by the number of windows still in it, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's uphill pretty good, and that's what I was thinking. It would be cool to see it repurposed for some reason. Yeah, a lot so. of ATV stuff goes on in these areas and things like that, so yeah. you just never know. And then, you know, you got the store over there. No more credit, don't ask. Oh, well, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I don't care what your credit score is. No more Just don't even out. ask. That was funny. And then we're standing in this little park. It's a nice little park they got. It looks like they got a little hiking trail maybe. Yeah, it's like Milam Creek Park. Bruce's Playground. Yeah. So, I always like seeing a little park. Yeah, a good little place for kids to come and get a little exercise. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day. I wish somebody was out here today. No. Alrighty, we are heading into the little unincorporated community known as McGraws, West McGraws, Virginia. McGraws, yes, and it's not named for Tim McGraw. <laughs> Why did I not think of that? I don't know. You're off your game today. Boys it was down. actually named for John and M.P. McGraw, which were the original owners of the town. Well, that's a kind of a cool thing to say in the town. I know. Town. Yeah. It is, and there's that cool little school and yep. park and John no McGraw. credit. Don't ask. And here we're going up McGraw's Holler Road. Yep. Which I would call Main Street, just about. I would think so. Ish. For, and this is a community, that's what I love about these. This is just a tiny little dot on the map. I know it is. But sometimes it's the most interesting places to see, in it? Yep, it is. And this is a better little shot of that building. I don't know, it made me look like it was out of commission longer than we thought. Yeah. There's a cool church. I wanted to be sure to get that. Yeah, it is. Looks like it's still in operation, doesn't it? I think so. It's a Millam United Methodist Church. Okay. And looks like some houses back through here. May not have much else. This is an unincorporated community, so it's not even a town. I know. And sometimes we just like to show them just sleepy little... This shows how some people live, you know? Yeah. All manner of ways here. That's right. And we are in Wyoming County. We're pretty close to Mullins right now. Yeah. So, really like Wyoming County, I know, West Virginia. It's, yeah. It's a nice place to visit. Yeah, me Mullins, and so mm -hmm. far we're going to Pineville and Oceana today. So, yep. I guess I should turn here, do you think? I think so. Trump Street. There you go. I bet there's probably some Trump supporters down there then. Maybe so. I doubt it's named for him though, do you? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, let's back, back out of here. I've seen a lot of ATV action down this way. I don't know, I've never heard of McGraws for that, but. It seems like all of this part of West Virginia is good for that though, I mean. Yeah, I would have never dreamed in a million years when they first had that idea that it would draw this kind of traffic. I know, but I'm glad it is because it's too. really building up you know the communities again yeah they're having more to offer and yeah at least it gives some kind of choice of mm -hmm. you know f for the economy and the people yeah some kind of income yeah a lot of people renting out places uh for atv riders and that's always a good thing absolutely it is a warm day today yes, which i am grateful for i know it's been a cold snap here lately so i'm happy me too Still a little bit of fall hanging in the air, but unfortunately, man, it's, it's heading into winter. Heading into winter quicker than we'd like. There's a church again. 
and coming up on the school again also. That's a pretty good sized school, so make sure. I know. I know. That's what I was I was really about to say that. Like you would think that they must have had some kind of population boom at some point. But I wasn't able to find much on this area, so if any of you guys know, let us know in the comments. Yeah, I know. And straight ahead of us is the post office for McGraws. And this is just a tiny little community. So it makes you think too, maybe the school was kind of central for another little yeah. community too, or two or three, you know. Yeah, very well could happen. But that was a good sized school, so. Yeah, that's about all there is to see. Yeah. I just, we just wanted, I don't know, we just, just felt right, didn't it? Felt yeah, that school was just way too special to just ignore and not show anything about it. So we just left, uh, we left McGraw's. That's how fast mm -hmm. you can get in and out. You could really, a blink of an eye. Yeah. You talk about, a lot of people talk about one stoplight and all this, little, some of these little communities aren't. didn't even have room for a stop sign, no. not much. You could hold your breath yeah. and literally go through it. And people always ask this, like, what do people do for, like, work and stuff? And people travel yeah. around our area, too. You know, it's no big deal to drop 30 minutes to work, so. You just get used to it. You yeah, you just get it. used to it. So. I mean, you both have done that before. Oh, absolutely. Yep. My mom did it for years and years and years, so. Yeah, I drove an hour and a half one way to Clintwood from Richlands. You talked across the mountain. Goodness. Yeah, it was rough in the car, but uh, you just get used to it. Yep, that's right. But... Anyways, that's my girls. Absolutely. All right, guys, that is a wrap on McGraw's West Virginia. McGraw's West Virginia, never heard of it before. Kind of neat to just stumble on these little things, isn't it? Yep, sure is. As so, long as we go. Yep, and we hope you guys enjoyed this, and we hope you guys are enjoying our new channel, Real Shane and Melody. So go check that out to get some behind the scenes and more into our lives. Yeah, we'll show this day for sure. We've got yep. a lot going on here in West Virginia today. So That's right. Be on the lookout for that video. Yes, and as always, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. That's right, you tell them, Melody. <laughs> we will see you see on down, down the road. road.